Did you know Striders used to look like this? Did you know Blazes were originally the good guys? And these are 79 facts about the 79 mobs in Minecraft. But first, we've got a problem. The analytics gods told me that next to no one is subscribed to the channel using their left hand. So if you want to help break down that right hand supremacy, then take a southpaw strike that sub button below. It's free, and it helps out a ton. All right, we've got 79 facts to cover, and uh, we've got to move fast. So let's start talking about our first mob over here, which is the fox. This is not a fox, this is ice. When they will leap, they will get stuck in snow. <laughs> So this fox right here got stuck in the snow and it oh. shivers. Oh, that's cute. That's like, oh God. So is he dabbing? There used to be a thing with the warden when it was in development where the sonic blast animation, where it does that like big roar, it would dab. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Next, we've got number three, which is the parrot. If you have a parrot and you tame it with seeds, oh, it actually does not have a hitbox. So it can't take any damage when the parrot's riding you. So the illusioner actually has the fastest bow in Minecraft. When they charge up at the same time as the skeleton, the illusioner shoots faster than the skeleton Is does. Is it still like full damage and everything? Oh yeah. Well, it's not a mob that's actually accessible through the game, but it is definitely there. With the creeper, its detection range gets smaller when you wear a creeper hat. Ooh, what? Really? So let's sneak across to the other side so we can continue. <laughs> oh God, I, I don't, dude. I actually don't like that. Uh. Okay. So it's detection. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> this was sort of a sneaky addition that was added in, but the pillager actually has its own font. What? Ooh. There's an alphabet called Illager All. Like this. Oh, I what that says. Don't forget to subscribe. <laughs> he said it, not me. Now what we're gonna check out is the skeleton horse, which has had its look changed. This is how it originally looked like, and now it looks like this. Oh yeah! Goats can do parkour. What? Huh? So because of their jumps, they're physically capable of jumping from one block gaps what? to another. Skip, this looks just borderline unethical. Are you sure this is no, like- No, 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 it's <laughs> fine, oh, look! Oh my god! Oh, there he goes! When the phantom was first shown off in the mob vote, it originally had a mouth in the concept art. Oh, yeah. Wow. They removed it because, quote, it looked too much like a Muppet. <laughs> I don't see that at all. That's ridiculous. Back in the past, it was possible for Endermen to not only pick up bedrock, but also <gasps> spawners. If you killed them, this was a way to get the bedrock block or a spawner block in survival mode. I got a spawner. I gave you a spawner, I guess. All right, let's go check out the Ravager. When they were first introduced in the snapshot, the Ravager was actually scared of the rabbit. So if I grab this rabbit on a lead and walk towards the <laughs> Ravagers, they were scared of it. Wait, this is amazing. So as you can maybe notice, especially if we see it in lower light, the drown's eyes will glow a little bit, Ooh. but they don't actually give off any light. <laughs> it's like, what is this thing in the wall? It's oh, your bird. No. Oh dear. <laughs> okay, don't punch for too long though. You don't want to kill him. Nice. He's safe. Do you want to name him? I'm gonna call him Hurtbox. Oh my gosh, his head looks around while you're looking around. Whoa. <gasps> 80 <laughs> Minecraft mob facts you didn't know. <laughs> now the donkey is the only mob that's able to regenerate health naturally. So if we summon this donkey and you want to tame it, after about 90 seconds, it'll regenerate half a heart. Oh. The ocelot can actually damage a chicken through a door. And it let's hope it's only a chicken yeah, and not, not a, a parrot. parrot. Don't hit Hurtbox. Okay, good. In Bedrock Edition, there are three different sizes of salmon. There's a small, a normal, and a large. Wow. Now, Endermites are pretty annoying, but mm -hmm. this is an easy way to get rid of them. Since they're so small, they actually just suffocate in soul oh, sand. Oh, that's Aww. so cute. Look at him go. Well, you won't find many Endermites in the nether. What you will find are Magma Cubes. The Magma Cube's size dictates its health and damage. The Piglin actually has eight inventory slots where they can store their different items. So once it gets eight items, it'll have filled up its inventory and it'll just leave the other stuff on the ground. So next we've got from the Piglin to the Piglin Brute. If we summon in Piglin Brutes and then we teleport them away, they'll always try to pathfind back to their original spawn. Whoa. Oh. What? So we've got ourselves kind of a piglin pilgrimage. What a That's beautiful actually kind thing. of insane. Uh, uh, but let's uh, let's get out of here before uh, they. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> the mushroom had it added, where it's now the fourth mob that is affected by a lightning strike. This is gonna hurt me more than it hurts him. No. Ah! Actually, maybe it won't. <laughs> Normally, a baby pig cannot be saddled. But if you summon it with a commands, it's a little tiny saddle. That's adorable. Can you ride? Oh my God, you can. In Bedrock Edition, the rarest mob in Minecraft happens when you get a panda jockey. What? Which is a 
zombie riding a panda wearing enchanted armor. What? This is, it's like looking in a mirror right now. <laughs> this is awesome. Bees are the only arthropod that can exist in peaceful mode. So if we summon all of these arthropods oh. and then hit oh. this button to turn it into peaceful mode, <gasps> it's the only Aww. one that still exists. Dolphins normally would suffocate if they get too much air, but if they're in rain, that's just enough to keep them sleek. The evoker, when it's not in combat, will actually churn different blue sheeps into red. Also, this dolphin isn't dying. Dolphin is alive and well dude minecraft fact debunked we're back down to 79. <laughs> <laughs> in the original concept art the frog looked like this gross that's disgusting i hate looking at it and this is how they look nowadays oh. i think you can tell that they made the right decision if we attack a villager the iron golem it would obviously get angry but if this goat does oh, it go. the villager got hit but the golem does not care the silverfish originally got a texture change when you would make faulty redstone it would summon the redstone bug Oh, and that was really? a silverfish. We're coming up on something a little bit more dangerous, which is number 29, the wither. The wither's main head shoots at a rate of one shot every two seconds. Ow! Oh. Ow! No! No, her box! But the small heads shoot Ow. at a rate of one Ow. shot every three seconds. Ow, I can't hear you over the wither! Did her box no. die? What yeah. is happening? How dare you? I don't know what's happening. No! This is a terrible fact! I hate this part! <laughs> I think her box would want you to have these. I'm crying, Skip. <laughs> uh, we're gonna see the wither from a safer point of view over here. The wither will attack every other mob that isn't undead, except for the ghast. The cave spider actually uses the same exact sounds as the regular spider, which makes oh. it kind of confusing when we turn on subtitles. The wandering trader is one of the rare mobs where it's meant to disappear under all conditions. So if I get this name tag, after 40 minutes, he'll just despawn. Number 33, we've got the stray. So if we could get a stray underwater, it doesn't shoot arrows like it does up above, but rather, it'll attack you melee style. You're gonna have to look closely for this one because witches actually have small mouths that are made underneath their nose. You'll notice that there's two pixels worth of mouth underneath the witch's nose. I'd love to. You'll see when it drinks a potion. Head in the way. The bat officially has no purpose to the game. Wow. If you feed a regular hoglin red fungus before it zombifies in the overworld, the resulting zoglin will not despawn naturally. If you cure a zombie villager that's on the jockey, it'll still be a regular villager even when the chicken gets cured. Aww. As you'll notice with cod, they tend to swim in schools. So if you see a bunch of cod, there's probably more around. If you have a baby chicken inside of a minecart, its hitbox is so small that you can't even hit the chicken. Wow. Dude, my <laughs> pig grew up. I'm so glad my companion lived to see adulthood. <laughs> <laughs> if you kill a horse and it drops leather, you'll still get the cow tipper achievement. Next, we've got the Vex. If you fight one of these at the bottom of the world, it might fly through bedrock, go into the void, and actually start dying of void damage when it flies through. With the removal of the firefly in 1.19, the baby turtle still remains the smallest mob in Minecraft. I'm gonna hit this button and we'll probably wanna back up. Okay. Because <gasps> what you'll notice with the Elder Guardian is that this eye is actually labeled as the head on the model. So even when it has no AI, its head will still track you because oh, technically it's its eye. That's freaky, dude. Originally, polar bears were supposed to spawn in frozen ocean biomes like this. They removed that because they thought it was too sad, but then after the fact, they added it back in because it's frankly more accurate to their real world situation. Yeah, I think you like Skip. Uh, uh, I'd rather be friends. Oh. <laughs> if you kill a husk and it drops a potato and you use a fire aspect sword, he'll drop a baked potato. Oh, oh, look at that. All right, for number 46, we've got the wither skeleton. They actually cannot fit through the gap underneath <laughs> the stairs. Ow, ow, They, ow, they definitely ow. can still hit you through the gap. If you have a spider in an enclosed space, it'll just climb up into a corner and get stuck. Back in the beta, if you would punch a sheep, that was the way that you sheared it. Well... <laughs> if you go into the game's files, you'll see that back in the day, the original texture for the zombie pigmen actually had thanks Zephobia, and that was because that was the original texture's creator. I the person remember who this. came up with the idea yeah. of Pigman. We can see that zombies actually have a special characteristic. They'll pursue the player at a greater range than any other mob. So their range is 35 blocks to pursue a player, while most have it be 16. For number 51, we're gonna go over here for the villager. When it hits nighttime and they're afraid of a zombie, they can actually go faster than the player's sprint speed. Whoa. Really? Look at that villager go. Look at him go. The glow squid actually has a baby variant in that version of the game. Oh. But there's no way to currently breed the squid 
squids or the glow squids. So there's just a 5% chance of having this happen naturally in the wild. So the tropical fish, it normally seems like there's only 22 named variations of them, but actually there are 2,700 that naturally occur. That's a lot. Really? If you really want to find them, Good luck. I haven't seen anyone get all 2,700 yet. Dude, I think that's the plot of Finding Nemo. <laughs> I think it is. <laughs> when we had the official Minecraft demo that came out on PC Gamer's website, the cows in that demo were branded with a PCG on their side. <laughs> if we have two tadpoles here, you'll notice that the axolotl will actively hunt them down as tadpoles, but as soon as they turn into frogs, then it doesn't care. The squids are pretty dumb. It turns out that they're so dumb that even if you were to give them the fire resistance, they still can't swim in lava. Wow. They just fall down to the bottom. And it suffocates because it's not in water. It's not water. Idiot can't it's even breathe lava. So if you summon a max strength llama, the wolf will actually start to run away from it. What? Oh, that's crazy. But if we tame the wolf, Oh, first try, first come try. on, then it doesn't worry about it. We've got the trader llama, which is oddly enough, its own mob separate from the regular llama. Now these have their own unique carpet design, but if you want one, you breed together two trader llamas <gasps> and you get this little guy. <laughs> He's so <laughs> this cute. Is the best. We actually have number 59, the <gasps> snow golem. Ooh. Or should I say the snowmen, as they were originally called, and would not show them off they had that name, but then a fan suggested that it would be better if it was called a snow golem. Though, if you shear a snow golem, you can still get the snowman version. Similar to real life, you can't breed a mule with another mule, but instead, the only way to get a mule is to crossbreed a horse and a donkey. The original rabbit was larger than the one that we currently have in the game, but in Bedrock, you can still summon this by using the larger rabbit tag. As well as a larger rabbit, we also have the unofficial 12th variant of the cat, it is the gray tabby. Pufferfish's poison does not damage the undead, and we'll see that with a bucket of pufferfish right here, and a zombie. It takes damage <laughs> from it, but obviously it didn't get poisoned. When they were originally first shown off, the Vindicator had the same green eyes as the Evoker, though they later got changed to a blue eye texture. Oh yeah. Ooh. Back in the day when they were first added in, the zombie villager actually wore the same clothing as the original zombie. Skeletons cannot see the player through transparent blocks. So if I'm standing here, the skeleton oh. sees me, but I go over to the glass and he doesn't see me anymore. Dr. Jark is credited as the creator of the horses as well as the zombie oh, horse. Oh yeah, smoke creatures. Oh my God, it's been a minute. If the shulker is given the invisibility effect, only its shell will turn invisible. Oh, oh, where'd you guys go? He's just a little guy. <laughs> so next we've got number 69, yeah! which is the wolf. When they were first shown off, they were a lot darker and they only lasted around for a few days before they got in the new textures. So axolotls are small salamanders that are native to Mexico. There's only about 1,400 to 1,600 of them left in the wild. And that is also the reason why when you get the super rare blue axolotl, there's a one out of 1400 chance that you'll get it. We're going from these small salamanders to a big zombie. Oh, it used to be able to spawn in the game, but it was removed because they were quote, too overpowered. They actually had a hundred points of health and could deal 75 points of damage. And to put that into perspective, the warden does 45. Oh my God. It's awesome. Now the word allay means to relieve or alleviate which contrasts the word vex, which means to anger or worry. Ooh. Oh, that's cool. Vocab class. If you have a guardian that's summoned on slime blocks, it'll jump up to an altitude of 17 blocks. <laughs> oh my God, look at him go. Look at him go, oh dude. Oh my God. According to the official Minecraft article, it says that blazes are sentient beings made out of pure lava. These were originally created by the original inhabitants of the nether fortresses, and they served as some kind of peaceful guard. Peaceful guard. But that didn't work out so well. Oh, oh my God. Oh. Okay, run, just run, just be fast. Understood. Just go fast. If the killer bunny cannot find a player, it'll actively hunt foxes or wolves. What? The fox I think he's gonna, gonna win. Back. Oh, oh, what is that? Oh. <laughs> oh. Well, we'll check that out after we do the, the hoglin. Baby piglins can actually ride nearby baby hoglins. But if there's more piglins than hoglins, they will actually all just start to stack on top of each other. What? <laughs> What? Oh, oh. When the Strider was first added in, it used to look like a pill bug. That's disgusting. Oh. I hate it. Much more handsome. Look at yeah. this guy. <laughs> now, you guys have probably noticed we haven't brought up a certain boss yet. Let's check out number 78, the Ooh. Ender Dragon. Ooh, Ooh, here we go. But if you summon a Wither to battle the Ender Dragon, it's not capable of doing any damage to it. It'll chase after it, but none of its heads are able to connect because the Ender Dragon's too fast. Oh, he's just making him dizzy. We've still got one last horrific experience, the Slime. Slime? The size of a slime can be changed with a size NBT tag. And at a size of 255, oh my God. it reaches 64 blocks tall. Help us, please. <laughs> <laughs> There's so many. Another. No.
And with that, folks, YouTube thinks that you might like this video. So see if they're right and have a good one. All right.